Welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to request a certificate that you can use with your Power BI report server or your SQL Server reporting point. The steps are generic enough. You could actually use these uh, steps to request a certificate for any website that you own. Let's get started. So now we're going to get started by um, requesting the certificate. But before I start that, I just want to show you that if we go off to the reporting point right now and log in, we can see that the uh, server is not secure at this time. So let's go request the certificate um, using the uh, MMC and the certificate plugin. So we go uh, MMC.exe. All right. So from here, we add the snap in. We're going to take the certificate one. We're going to go ahead. Now it's asking us whether I want my personal account, a service account, or the computer account. We're going to want the computer account. So we're going to go next. And then it's going to say which computer. Now it may not be completely obvious, but I'm actually on my reporting point right now. And this is a Power BI report server. So I want to do for the local uh, computer. So I'm going to select that and go OK. So we go off into the personal stores and we can see that there are currently um, two certificates in there. And if we go to the end, we can see what template they're uh, used for. But neither of those are the ones I want to use. So I'm going to right click, go all task, request new certificate. I'm going to go next on the welcome screen. I'm going to again on the remote enrollment policies just go to 80 we're going to scroll to the bottom and we're going to take web certificates then we're going to click on the more information so on the first uh, subject name we're going to change this to the common name and we're going to call this the name of the the, the DNS name So I'm just going to copy that because I'm going to use it again in a second. And again, on the subject alternative name, I'm going to go to DNS and paste that uh, name. The reason why this is important is if you only do the common name, uh, browsers uh, have come up with a new policy that if there's not a subject alternative name, they think the certificate's not, in, uh, not valid and gives you a headache. So you want to do both. So go add to that. You go, okay. So with that, you're almost done. You click enroll, and it says that it's done. You know, we can go look at the details, and we can go finish. And we can see that the certificate is right here. So we can double click it and get all the details about the, the certificate, which of the certificates servers did it um, all that fun details so so in the next section of this thing we're actually going to t uh, change the service account that uh, power bi runs on uh, to the network then we're going to import the um, certificate into Power BI report server. The steps are exactly the same whether you're Power BI or SSRS, um, or for that matter, if you're uh, um, a straight website, you can import the, the, the certificate effectively the same way. Once it's in the store, you're good. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. So 
I want to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel or to the uh, RSS feed that we have on our website. All this will keep you informed of all the latest videos and blogs as they're released. Until next time.